And we're going to say here the, the difference in electronegativities can have a big effect on the properties of the bond and the properties of the compound. And we can classify them as different things. We're going to say if we have a connection between two elements, let's say we have a connection between carbon and hydrogen. Carbon's electronegative number is 2.5. Hydrogen's electronegative number is 2.2. Their difference would be 0.3. This is their delta En, their difference in electronegative negativity. We're going to say based on the value of the difference, we can classify the bond, we can classify the compound as different types of compounds. So if we have an electronegative difference of zero, that means that it's classified as a pure covalent bond. And a good example of that would be Br connected to Br. So basically Br2. They both have the same electronegative number, so when you subtract them from each other, it's zero. So we would call them a pure covalent compound. If the difference is small between 0.1 and 0.4, then we call it a nonpolar covalent compound or nonpolar covalent bond. Good example, we just saw it is carbon and hydrogen. When we subtract their differences, we get a number of 0.3. So a compound could be CH4. Intermediate, we call them polar covalent, and they're usually between 0.4 and 1.7. So let's say we had hydrogen connected to Br. Their difference would fit somewhere in between 0.4 and 1.7. And let me remove myself from this image so we have more room. And then if the difference was greater than 1.7, then it would be classified as an ionic bond. So if we had Na with F, definitely their numbers would be greater than 1.7. So their bond will be classified as an ionic bond. So just remember, electronegativity is similar to electron affinity. It just means the liking of an element towards electrons. We're going to say this connects to the idea of polarity. And later on, when we start to draw compounds, we'll see how it plays a role in the way we draw these compounds.